I went outside for the first time since the last time I had been outside yesterday, and I went back inside. The next day I went outside and found a rock. The rock reminded me of an article I accidentally clicked while half asleep and scrolling through my Twitter feed a minute after waking up. I'm not really gonna get into that article, instead I'm gonna talk to you about a revelation I've had while looking at this rock. You know, the truth is, this rock can unlock a lot of secrets to our lives. The truth is, this rock is better at living than you are. No, seriously, this rock will have a better life than you ever will. Allow me to explain. Now in this rock, there isn't a heart. Instead, oxygen is delivered through a chemical called rockamine. The rockamine delivers oxygen through an intricate system of tiny tunnels that we call tiny tunnels. Now it's in this rockamine where the magic happens. Because the human heart is a muscle, and muscles wear out, eventually our hearts will stop beating because they're tired of supporting a constant failure. And this is truly remarkable. Rockamine, the chemical, does not stop delivering oxygen to the rock's vital organs because Rockamine has adopted a very detached outlook on life. Because of that, rocks have the potential to live millions and millions of years. Now of course, trading the heart and our other muscles for the rockamine and tiny tunnels network would have its downsides, for example, being completely stationary and unmoving, and this is where the philosophical question comes into play. After all, we shouldn't leave any stone unturned. What we learn from The Rock is that having a detached outlook on life will by necessity increase our life expectancy. After all, the heart does get stressed out and is put under a lot of strain from all of our emotional ups and downs. It's logical and rational to conclude then that your heart hates you for being such an emotional train wreck. As a result, it eventually willingly stops delivering oxygen to your vital organs. Rockamine, on the other hand, doesn't give a shit about what happens to you and continues to deliver oxygen no matter what. So what do rocks teach us? It seems that the secret in longevity to life is not caring about anything. You should just be a rock. Who needs a short, turbulent, painful life filled with highs so high you feel like you've just solved 2,000 calculus questions at the same time, and lows so low you feel like the moment you find out you got all those 2,000 questions wrong? Instead, you could be unmoving, uncaring, and basically immortal. Why have a complex, intricate, and constantly changing dynamic system of interaction with the world around you, spawning the inspiration for countless creations, ideas, and sensations when you could live like a rock? Basically what I'm saying here is that when it comes to preserving life, this rock is better at living than you are. Here's a song I wrote. It's way better than you'll ever be. Okay, bye.